hey guys i'm glad to have you back on this channel and if it's your first time to join us welcome and today we're going to continue with this project we're building a food delivery app with react native and firebase and in this video i'm not going to recap everything that you've done because this is a big project but i'm going to leave the links to the previous videos in the description section and what we're going to do today it's a uh, data persistence for example if i try to log in this app i just want to show you let me put my login details expressfood.gmail.com put the password so I'm logged in and for example if uh, if I close the app right now I will be requested to log in again and that's not right this is not the right way this app should behave so if I close the app and try to reopen it again, let me find it. If the user close the app and open, they should not be prompt to sign in again because they didn't sign out. So normally they're supposed to be taken back inside the app because uh, they are previous. So their last state inside Firebase is that they are logged in. So they are not supposed to be denied access to the app because they did not sign out so for them to be prompted to sign in it's only if they did press the sign out button so this is the issue that we're going to solve today is that if the user does not uh, sign out and they simply close the app the next time they open the app they should not be denied access to the app so if ever they open again the app they should just be signed in so that is done uh, with uh, data persistence meaning you have to query firebase to find out if the user did sign out if the user didn't sign out they should be granted access to the app but if they did sign out then they should be prompted to put in their login details so i hope that is clear and that's what we're going to achieve today let me sign back inside our app And you can see that this is really boring to sign in every time your app closes and the user it's not a good user experience and that will frustrate the user that every time they close the app they have to put the password so this is what we're going to achieve today i will request you to open your your project i have mine already open i'm using a, a visual studio code and we did create uh the data store already local data store and we have created that with by means of reducers as well as context apis so we did create the auth context for those who have been following if it's your very first time to watch this video please check in the description uh, section i will leave links to the previous videos so that you can catch up and see what you have done so you will see that we giving uh, we have created the user token if it's null that means the user is not signed in and otherwise if it's not null that means the user is signed in and this user token we're getting it from firebase now go to the sign in welcome screen that is inside the folder screen you go to the i mean to the fold to the source folder inside the source folder if you go to the screen folder and inside the screen folder there is what we call auth screens folders and inside this one you're gonna have sign in screen i mean well sign in welcome screen and this is the very first page which opens when the app is launched 
and inside here I'm just gonna make it bigger we're going to import use effect say use effect and gonna make use of that here and also we're going to to import some of the we're going to import the context that you have created but instead of me uh, creating I mean typing that again if I go to sign in screen we have that already we can just copy that in your sign in copy this and paste it inside your sign in welcome screen and also we should be able to dispatch some data to our local data store copy that and paste it inside your functional component just on top here and what else can we copy from this let's see okay I think that's it for now um, you can also copy this I'll show you where to paste that this is inside your sign-in screen copy dispatch signed in because we're gonna have to dispatch the state and then we're going to create the use effect here and this will take a call back and inside here we gonna okay let me first paste this what I've copied paste that inside use effect but before that we need to query the firebase to know what is the status of our user okay so I'm going to import auth from firebase and uh, I think this is this one here import that you can import this line of code we get the instance the auth class from get this auth class from firebase and now we can query firebase to find out what is the status of the user even when the app is closed firebase does not close the firebase still uh, persist the status of our user so we're going to query that so what we're gonna do inside here is just gonna say auth dot on auth state changed I don't know this is not the right method so we're gonna say auth need face to call that sorry guys I think this is wrong yes and then we say on state changed that's the right method so if the state changed let's grab user we can give we can give it whatever name and here we say that if user is true that means if there's some data right can I say if user if this is true then we can dispatch some data to our local store okay so we're gonna dispatch this So what's happening is we're querying the firebase we're saying that if the user state has changed okay 
on auth state changed if the authentication state of the user is changed in firebase then uh, give us what has changed if it's null then this one to be true this will be false if it's not null that means the the state did not change and the user is signed in and then we're gonna dispatch uh, we're gonna dispatch the user token and we're gonna say the user uh, the user is signed in okay and if this is not true so we can say else meaning this is null the user uh, state is null meaning the user is signed out is not signed in in our firebase account or, or back end then we're gonna dispatch the user token as null you can copy this and instead of signed in we're going to dispatch null that means the user is signed out the user is not signed in with firebase so this is it when it comes to persisting the user status or the user state inside our firebase i'm going to save this and let's open the emulator and hopefully this will work i'm going to close our app and try to reopen it let's see what happens okay say use context okay i didn't import that sorry we need to grab use context from react and let's save see if that will clear the for the the error awesome you see that now i did close the app even though i closed it but when i open it it still uh, gave me or granted me access so this is the functionality which we wanted let me close it again i'm closing the app and if i open i did close but i didn't sign out now if i open again the app it won't uh, prompt me to sign in it will simply log me in so that i can have access to all the functionalities awesome you can see that this is taking me directly to the to the page and if i sign out i'm signing out okay the emulator is giving some problems mm. it's freezing okay yes i've signed out and if i close the app all right and click sign in i mean open the app you can see that firebase still knows that i did sign out i have to sign in it's prompting me to sign in again and then i can sign in express food gmail.com and i have to put my password one two three four five six now i'm signed in and if for whatever reason i decide to close the app i did not sign out i'm just closing the app which is a common thing that happens and the next time i want to open again the app i will be granted access to my application so i can place orders or whatever it will take a bit of time it's just querying the firebase and there we are we are signed in directly so i can proceed and place my order with any restaurant without having to sign in again so this is what we wanted to achieve today
and now we can proceed with what we've been doing uh, I'm going to stop here I don't want to make longer videos anymore I think from now on I will try to restrict the videos to a maximum of 15 minutes but I will make sure that at least every day I post a new video so next in the next video what we're going to do now we're going to continue with the cut we're going to be able I mean we're going to implement the the selections of preferences conditional selections that when you click there uh, right now nothing is happening but in the next video we will begin implementing this so that when you click there it does select uh, your choice and with this condition of uh, two for example uh, we only have two that is required so if you click there you'll be able to only take two options so we're going to implement this in the next video and yeah for today we're gonna stop here thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next video which is following tomorrow until then keep safe and take care bye bye